is up youtube this is dvz 14 and i bring you a very exciting deck and that is cubix um many reasons why i built the deck one you know i watched the movie a couple months back and it was really good if you haven't watched it go go please and watch that movie um the main the villain runs this deck and um surprisingly the deck is very budget um and another thing before i get onto the deck profile i just want to apologize to all, all the fans for not posting for a while i was waiting for the ban list uh, to come out before uh, fixing any decks and whatnot. So I know it's been two months, but forgive me. And without any further ado, we can get on to the cubic deck profile. Um, starting off with the monsters, we run obviously the main boss monster, Triple Nova. Um, what he does is uh, the only way he can be summoned is if you uh, reveal three different named cubic cards from your hand and you can special summon them. And if he destroys a monster, he can attack again. And if he, um, and during the end phase, um, during the end phase, both players take 3,000 life points. And this card is unaffected by your opponent's monster effects that have less attack points to defend. So that's really strong. No, oh, excuse me. Um, the, the, the good thing about him is, like, when you go against, like, Zodiacs and stuff, um, Zodiac monsters will have any effects on him. And, uh, this is a great card to bypass a dimensional barrier as well. Um, also, in my opinion, um, this deck will be really good in the links format because you don't really need to use your extra deck because all you basically do is you OTK with this monster. Uh, next for your engine goer uh, is three Duzas. Uh, basically, when he's summoned on your side of the field, you can dump any cubic card. So you try to dump your spells and traps to activate their effects in Grave and help uh, search him out and yeah he's the only one that you can normal summon with so that's pretty important uh next you run the triple uh triple seeds um really good defensive card um it cannot be destroyed by battle and if a monster were to attack it you can attach this card to that monster and that monster cannot attack and its effects are negated and during your turn, you can detach this card from your spell trap card zone and, to, and summon it to your side of the field. And this card has a lot of good synergy with the other cards, which I'll get into. Uh, next, uh, I run the double buster. Um, he's probably the best one from the other cubics. I'm not going to go into all their monster effects because they're pretty useless. Uh, you only run different cubic cards for the different names for, cube, uh, for Nova. Uh, and then for the one ofs, I run this guy, and this guy, and this guy. Um, like I said, these guys are not like relevant to the deck too much. You just run them for the names. And then um, this one right here, the beast, and then the king. Uh, king I like personally the most because you can send a cubic monster from that you control, and when he's special summon, you get to inflict eight hundred. So there are times when your opponent would just be lingering with like less than 800 life points and then you can just summon him to go for game. And last for the monsters, I run double uh, summoner monk. Uh, you run a lot of spell cards and um, it helps you get out the Dooza. And by bringing out Dooza, you can rank four and the Dooza can help search for the Nova. So that's it for the monsters. And next for the spells, I run triple uh, Karma. Um, really good card. Uh, basically, uh, when you activate it, you can target one cubic monster you control, and uh, you can send uh, the seeds from your hand or deck to the graveyard, and your monster gets uh, the monster that you target gains a power boost. I forgot how much it is, but the main effect of this card is that if this card is in your graveyard, you can banish it to search any cubic card. So this helps um, when you banish or when you dump with Duza. Um, then you can uh, banish it to uh, search out your Novas. Um, also, keep in mind this is this is a very budget build. You can add more expensive cards to make it a lot more better. So I'll explain what cards you could sub in to make the deck a lot better. Uh, next, I run Triple Cubic Wave. Um, really good card helps you OTK. Uh, basically, you can target one cubic monster you control. Uh, you double the attack and you target one card, one monster card your opponent controls, and you half that attack. Um, if this card is in your graveyard, you can banish it and any number of cubic monsters from your grave and target that many monsters on your opponent's side of the field and attach a cubic counter on it. If they have a cubic counter on it, they cannot attack, their effects are negated, and their, atta and their attack points become zero, I think. So yeah.
Uh, next from my spicy tech that I run, I don't see people run these two cards. Uh, I run Mount Mount of the Bound Creator. Um, really good with Nova. Um, helps with the extra burn and it protects him. Uh, I play the terraforming with it as well to search it out. But uh, like like I said, if you were to make it the best build, I'd take these three cards out and put in Foolish Burial of Goods. That can help put the Karma Wave or the Cubic uh, Counter, I think, or Cubic Lords into the graveyard. Um, so yeah. Next one, Double Dark Hole. Um, good board wipe. So before uh, you can summon Nova, you just Dark Hole. Uh, destroy the field and then summon the Nova and then try to go for a game from there. Uh, next one, double MST. Um, I do not run Twin Twister because you need to have cards in your hand in order for you to summon out the Nova. So I just run the double MST. And then the one Fusion Conscription to search out the Nova. And then the one Reasoning uh, to try to get out Dooza or Summoner Monk and then go off from there. Uh, that's it for the spells. And then for the traps, I run triple Unification. Um... This, help, this helps you summon out the fusion monster, which you're probably never going to do. But its main effect is if it's in the graveyard and a cubic monster you control is destroyed by a battle card effect, you can special summon um, a level 4 or less cubic monster from your deck. And that monster cannot be destroyed by a battle card effect for the rest of the turn. So it, it really combos well with Dooza because you can special summon the Dooza from your deck and Dooza's effect triggers. And then that Dooza won't uh, die for that rest of the turn. So that's really good. And then I run the one cubic rebirth. Um... It, it helps you when your opponent attacks you directly. It does a lot of things. But the main reason is just a different different uh, cubic card name. Uh, next, another spicy tech that I run is Double Blazing Mirror Force. Um, there are times when you, you're not able to summon Nova on your first turn. Or if you go first, you'll have good defensive measures. And this will help uh, burn your opponent's life points and help you win. And last for the traps, I run one solemn warning. Um, next for your extra deck, you can literally run any rank fours. Like it's not even a complete extra deck, but um, just to start off, you, you run the run fusion to, mainly for fusion conscription to search out your Nova. You you're not gonna be able to summon him, but you summon him through the trap card. Uh, then for the rank fours, you run the Utopia package right here, um, and then just really anything like Dark Rebellion, Karagorgan, Gorgon, against Paleos, Gaga Samurai, Dweller, Castell. Um, and really just anything, um, any rank four, like diamond die or something, just put in there. You're really not going to go into rank fours that much. It's just, um, you really, your main objective is to summon Nova and to burn your opponent for game. So anyways, uh, thank you for watching. If you have any comments or any suggestions, please post them down below in the video and uh, have a nice day.